okay guys welcome criminology students today we will learn about another lesson on physical security What is physical security? When you say physical, we can it is the meaning that we can perceive by the use of our five senses. So in the industrial security management, physical security is defined as a system of barriers placed between potential intruder and the matter to be protected. So, let us say that this illustration represents itself as the thief, rubber, or an intruder. And this illustration represents itself as the information top secret docu documents uh, vault or anything that is a matter to be protected so first is what to in depending it we must put first line of defense so that it will not be easy by the intruder to penetrate or establish his entrance as you can see in the illustration it is very difficult for him to pursue his mission but it doesn't mean that the first line of defense cannot be broken so it will be discussed further in our discussion Physical security so is concerned with the physical measures adapted to prevent unauthorized access to equipment, facilities, material, and documents and to safeguard them against espionage, sabotage, damage, and thief. So what is espionage class? the act of obtaining secret or confidential information when you say confidential information it is known in intelligence as need to know basis that only those personnel are authorized to have this information or to divulge this information to those personnel which is also authorized so or divulging of the same without the permission of the holder of the information so if obtaining secret or confidential information and divulge it to another person without the information of the holder this is we called espionage What is industrial espionage? It's the illegal and unethical thief of business trade secrets for use by a competitor to achieve a competitive advantage. It is often done by an insider or an employee who gains employment for the express purpose of spying. Remember, for the express purpose of spying and stealing information for a competitor so there are known to be big business with trade secrets so to be able to establish competition uh, such competitor uh, uh, employs spies to steal information so that they could compete to their business 
But this uh, action is illegal and unethical thief. Also called unethical thief class. So, what are the three categories of security? Number one is physical. Number two, information. Number three, personnel. So, remember class, the three categories of security is physical, in, inform, information, and personnel. What is the foundation of physical security? The building blocks of physical security. Number one is system of defense in depth. It is also called corp compartmentalization. Second is accumulated delay time. So, you say accumulated delay time doesn't mean that the perpetrator or intruder cannot pursue his mission but only been delay so, like this fence going with bob wires it is very difficult for an intruder to pursue it in just a few seconds or minutes so as you can see it will be because of his hardened hardened hardiness of barbed wire uh, the intruder will have a difficulty to go to that establishment and to establish his goal to either steal or rob anything that is important in the establishment defense in the so there are three layers of physical barriers so the layer number one is the outer perimeter outer perimeter it's explained or defined to be located at the outer edge of the property so outside the property referred to as the first line of defense number two is the exterior walls ceilings roof and floors of the building known to be the second line of defense number three temporary or partition areas within the building known as the third line of defense perimeter barrier is what you call to be first line of defense the main purpose of the first perimeter defense is to deny or impede just like i said Impede means delay or prevent access or exit of an authorized person. Like the portrait I just captured, a fence in Mexico. So, second is building exterior. Second line of defense. So, means the outside portion of a structure including the materials equipment and the components which constitute the walls roof foundation stairs attached projection and other external parts and feature to be used to delay or prevent intruder so sample is this picture uh, roof, doors, windows, rooftop openings, and fire exit. Number three is internal of the third line of defense called class. So it may also include input from external auditors and or regulators this function sometimes termed as independent assurance evaluates 
the overall process of cyber risk governance for the entire organization. Uh, example of this class are ID system, entry or exit signs, restricted area signs, alarm sensors, communication systems, and guards. So when you say ID system, are those that use digital technology throughout the identity, including for data capture, validation, storage, and transfer, credential management and identification, verification, and authentication. Ini sa ang example sa national ID class. So, external and exit signs. So, what is the purpose of sign? It is to communicate, to convey information. Designed to assist the receiver with the decision making based on the information provided. So based on the information provided, when you say an inter signage hmm, in the establishment, all person are going to that establishment must go through this this uh, entrance or door. So when you say exit signs, all persons who want to go outside shall go to the exit area. So these are examples of signs, enter and exit. Restricted area. When you say restricted area class, it is a sign where only authorized personnel can be, can enter. Uh, this is what we call a con compartmentalization mm. so only those person who are who have the access uh, or green access to enter can go inside in this area particular area alarm sensors when you say alarm sensors are devices that detects events that are not part of the normal working environment and that send signals to the alarm panel for processing. Alarm sensors, whether mechanical or electronic, must be strategically placed so that they can monitor conditions that require security alerts. So remember, mm, to monitor the condition of an area it required security alerts one of these security alerts is called alarm sensors so these alarm sensors will conduct processing and detection for every normal working environment remember that class this is one of a picture captured as like example of a sensor uh, either a human body or a metal it will be detected communication system so when you say communication system class it's a collection of individual telecommunication network transmission systems relay station tributary station and terminal equipment usually keep capable of interconnection and inter operation to form an integrated whole so this is a uh, communication system used to relay information from one another to another place or to another person so to generate uh, informative uh, task or uh, memo memorandum circulation to all the personnel all the department as an integrated whole like that example class so guards so as we all know guards in the philippines also called as security guards so a person who keeps watch so a sentinel Especially a soldier or a person formally assigned to protect a person or to control access to a place. This is a particular picture captured as a security uh, holding his radio and giving information to somebody or giving an 
information or relay information to his superior. Thank you for watching class and please subscribe, like and share to my channel.